Yeah. Would you like to have a conversation? Yeah, sure, absolutely. All right. What would you like to talk about? Um. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, have you given much thought to what you want to be when you grow up? I have. Great. And what would that be? Oh, most likely a scientist, unless I stay in Texas. Then I'm thinking cattle baron. Cattle baron? Assuming I don't have to touch the cows. Goes without saying. Did you always want to be a football coach? Well, I always wanted to play. At least till I got hurt. Mm. Were you a good player? Eh, uh, not really. I was just bigger than the other kids. So you compensated for mediocrity by being large? I guess. That works for cattle as well. Yeah, well, thanks for pointing that out. You're welcome. You might want to open a window. Oh, boy. Oh. Dead armadillo. That's three for me. This is a terrible driving game. Is it roadkill if it's still twitching? Hmm, both alive and dead, just like Schrodinger's cat. I didn't know he had a cat. You've heard of Schrodinger? You yeah, sure. It's a kid from Charlie Brown who plays the piano. Lucy's got a crush on him. <sighs> Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment. A cat in a box is exposed to poison and is both alive and dead until it is observed. So the cat's name is Schrodinger? No. Well, what's its name? Its name doesn't matter. It does if the cat was dead. Otherwise, where are you going to put on his tombstone? Not likely the cat's getting a tombstone. It would in a pet cemetery. <sighs> Fine. The cat's name is Mittens. Because he has little white feet? Sure. So in this thought experiment, do you think Mittens is dead or alive? There's no way of saying until you open the box. <sighs> oh, come on. Optimistically, I would choose to believe he's alive. Yes. Well, thank goodness. Oh, dead crow. There ain't no doubt about that one.